clear waters, puffer fish and a shipwreck. We are scuba diving in Hong Kong and this is Drone and Fun. Well, welcome to a brand new series of Drone and Phone. I have with me a scuba diving instructor, David Shu. Hi, guys. Now, you may not think of Hong Kong as a place to do scuba diving, but we have five great dives that David's going to introduce. Where are we starting, David? So, the first diving size is one of my favorite ones. It's called Yin Zian. Yin Zian in Sai Kung. Let's get going. Let's go! While Hong Kong may not be the first choice of dive destinations in Asia, on a clear water day, away from the main population centers, there's plenty to see beneath the waves. In this series, we're asking dive instructor David Shu to help us pick five great dive spots around the region. Yinzi Gam literally translates to Swallow Cave in Cantonese, named after the sea caves where swallows and bats build their nests along the rocky shoreline. It's here where a cargo ship sunk in the 1960s, the wreck of which now houses a wide range of sea creatures. We start from Sai Kung Pier, where we board the dive boat and set off to sea. So this is my first dive in about two years. I did my uh, diving back in my early 20s I learned to dive so I have my diving certificate and I probably go about once every couple of years. This is our third dive actually on Drone and Phone. We have done dives in, in the Philippines and uh, in Hainan before um, but still very much need to have uh, David as my guide uh, today. After a quick introduction to all the facilities on board it's time to prepare all the gear and re-familiarize myself with how to operate it. Inflating button. Yeah. Deflating. Deflating the Yes. Next, grab a tank and set everything up. Once that is done, David takes me up on deck to go over the all important hand signals. So, this means uh, everything good? No, going out. Going up? Yeah, going out. <laughs> be more careful, everything's good, gonna be like yeah, this. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> going up. With the hand signals mastered and the boat rapidly approaching the dive site, it was time to go back down, change and wait. You look very nervous. I'm not nervous, I'm extremely hot though. It's a very hot day so I can't wait to get in the water. When you put this wetsuit on in this kind of humidity and heat, I think today we've got about 34 degrees outside. I just need to get into the water and cool down. A few minutes later we get the all clear and it's time to jump in the water. One final check and then... Dive time. The site is close to shore, it's not very deep. We dove no deeper than about 8 metres. Good for visibility, but not so adventurous for those who want to lose themselves in the depths of the ocean. There are lots of colourful fish to look at, including these angelfish and one very friendly puffer fish. To find the shipwreck, you need to search a while, which we did, but with no luck in finding it this time. Well, that's the end of the first episode. That was a fantastic dive. Visibility not too bad in the end. Uh, not bad, not bad, yeah. yeah. It's really good. Well, I think it was around like uh, five to seven yeah. meters. Yeah. Well, I've got to say the angel fish was my favorite. What else did we see? Uh, we, we saw puffer fish, a uh, really cute one. Yeah. yeah. And also we saw a group of the traveling fish as well. And the other like a tiny baby juvenile. I don't know what type of fish, but we saw a school of them, right? We saw a school of, I don't know what kind of fish and that is was one of the highlights of the yeah definitely now um i had a little bit of problems with my weights i'm hoping i'm going to get a bit better on the next dive on the next episode cool but for now please like and subscribe wherever you see this show my name's dj clark i'm david shu and this is drone and phone join the diving guys <laughs>